All right, guys, so I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. I'm going to try my hand at growing some trees. So what we have here is the uh, Sequoia Dendrum Giganteum, which is uh, also known as the Giant Sequoia, or more commonly the Redwood Tree. And that is the largest uh, tree in the world. So uh, I thought it would be good fun to try and grow one of those and see what happens. Um, so yeah, apparently online they say that these seeds are kind of hard to get them to germinate so I bought 90 of them to try and give myself the best possible chance I mean obviously I could have bought a lot more but um, I think 90 should be enough to get one of these seeds to uh, to germinate um, came with this little some information if you want to pause that give that a read but uh, yeah on here it they seem to say that it's not all that difficult for these guys to germinate, but what I've been reading on the line is like, oh, there's only like, you know, 1 in 15 seeds will germinate and stuff like that. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know about all of that, but I'm going to try a couple of different methods to try and germinate these guys. I haven't really decided yet how many I'll do for each method, but the first method I'm going to do is a classic paper towel method. If you're not familiar with that, it's where you, you, you know, you take a paper towel. You get it damp, you put your seeds inside, you fold it over, and you put them in a, a kind of a, well, not necessarily airtight, but a, a kind of airtight container. And, um, yeah, they basically, they, you leave them in there for, you know, like a week or so, or however long it takes, and they should start to germinate and sprout little seeds inside the paper towel. Now, I've tried that method with um, tons of different seeds. From uh, I, I've grown lemon trees that way. I've grown uh, I've grown a peach peach tree that way. Uh, I grew I, I managed to germinate a mango seed that way, and the tree grew for a little while. Um, yeah, and also uh, pepper pepper plants like this one. I used the paper towel method tool, and uh, yeah, I mean it worked really well. It's growing very nicely. That's just a, a bell pepper plant. So, uh, yeah, oh, I've not read online about anyone trying that method for <laughs> giant sequoia seeds, but um, I don't see why it wouldn't work. I mean, the, the only seed that I have not, um, the, only, the only seed I've actually ever really grown and not used the paper towel method was a uh, avocado seed. And I just, you know, you stick that in the jar with the half water and stuff. I don't. I'm not sure that would be as easy to wrap in a paper towel, so I don't know if that would work. I never tried that. But every other seed that I've ever tried has always worked with the paper towel method, so I am hopeful. So let's, uh, let's get it started. I got my paper towel all nice and kind of moist here. Just gonna set it out, make sure it's in frame. Um, I'll take this bag of seeds. These ones look like they got the most healthy ones in there. I think I'm probably gonna use a whole bag, so I'm gonna put 30 in this method. So there we are, so 30. Um, just gonna spread them out. Give me plenty of space. Now, like I said, looking online, I've not seen anyone do it this way. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's not possible. There's a lot of stuff about um, making the seed, like, you're supposed to put the, the seeds in a fridge for like, I don't know, like a month or something, to kind of trick them into thinking they're going for a winter. And then, uh, and then basically when you bring them out, get them a bit warm, keep them nice and damp, they think it's um, they think it's spring and they're supposed to grow. 
But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm just too lazy to wait. I'm, I'm probably going to put some of these in the fridge. Probably going to try some of these like that in case these ones don't work. But, um, yeah, I don't want to wait around to three weeks while they cool down. So, uh, hopefully the internet is not, <laughs> you know, right on that one. And they'll grow without doing that. So, okay, we got these pretty well spread out okay 30 seeds just want to fold that over make sure they're all nice and covered now this this is pretty damp I did the trick is to not have it too damp so I squeeze a lot of the water out of this but now I'm thinking that might be a little bit too dry I'll give it a little spray like that Okay, and then basically what we're going to do, seal them up, and I'm just going to keep these in my room where it's fairly dark, and uh, yeah, see what happens to them over the next, you know, days and weeks, and hopefully we get some, uh, some roots sprouting out of them. Alright, so now here, the second method I'm going to try is just putting them here in this uh, potting soil. And uh, I think I'm going to do, um, yeah, I'll do four, four per pot here. Uh, yeah. So I want to plant them fairly deep down. Oh, that's far too many. Pull all of them out. Great. Uh, let's get good ones. So, okay, first of all. Going about mm, maybe just under an inch deep, and I'm just gonna. There's one. In. This looks like a pretty healthy one. Wait, which hole did I drop it in? Okay, in that one. Two. Three. One done. I'm going to stick them here in these nice rubber cups. Okay, so now I have them all in the pot. And give them good amount of water because it's quite hot in here probably dry out and have to be watered again pretty soon we don't we definitely don't want them to dry out we I know for a fact I'm not you know, the best gardener in the world but you don't want your seeds to dry out once you've started trying to germinate them so in this soil I think I mean could have better drainage but it should be pretty good I put some gravel at the bottom See that as gravel, but yeah. So yeah, that's the second method. Um, we'll see if we get anything from that. Okay, so we had 12 of those seeds planted, divided over these three pots. So that means we have, what, 15, 18? 18 seeds left in here. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. So 18. And what I'm going to do with these ones is so again, I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to just empty them all in there. Damp. Nice and 
dump. Okay. I'm gonna put it back inside the bag it came in. stick this one in the fridge for a couple of weeks and I will check on it now and then to see because I mean for all I know they're gonna germinate in the fridge I don't know how how warm they have to be to germinate but yeah so I'll stick those in the fridge cool them right down okay, okay guys so I've actually decided with these three that I'm uh, to make sure they stay nice and damp just you know, give them a tiny bit more I'm going to put these uh, Ziploc zip lock bags over the top of them. Just so the moisture kind of stays in there. I don't really uh, have to seal it, but I'll just kind of seal it to the edge so it stays tight. And then if, like, if the water seems to be kind of evaporating them running down here or something, I have to rub a band around them. But for now, it should be fine like this. Do that to the other ones speed this up for you. There you go, so now they effectively have their own little greenhouses there. So they stay nice and damp. Okay, so I got all my seeds here, while well, the uh, fridge ones are in the fridge. For the paper towel ones, and the other ones are here. Now, I've only planted, or tried to, you know, try to germinate whatever, 60. I still have 30 here. I think I'm going to hold on to these ones, you know, keep them in a nice, uh, cool, dry place, and just wait and see what, mainly what happens to these ones. And if these ones don't germinate at all, then I can try different methods uh, with these ones. Um, and, you know, we'll know that probably they do have to go in the fridge for a period of time. But I have those ones in the fridge, so we'll see. It's a good experiment with these different ways. I'm, I'm hoping and expecting, actually, that these ones will germinate like this. I just, obviously, I, you know, I, I guess I don't really have any reason to, to, uh, to expect that. But, you know, every other, like I said, every other seed I've tried has grown perfectly from uh, the paper towel method. So I am hopeful, but uh, like I said, there's nothing about it that I could find online in my <laughs> 20 minute Google search. Maybe there is something online, I should look harder. But yeah, um, these ones, I, I you mean, you know, again, we might have to go through the cold periods, so they might not work, but I, I would imagine that they will germinate in here. Um, yeah, so I'll save these uh, 30 for later on. Alright, hey guys, so let me know if you find videos like this interesting because this is something that I really like to do is to, to try and grow plants that aren't necessarily meant to grow in, in my climate uh, or my part of the world at least. Um, I'm in England and uh, these sequoia trees are from California primarily uh, on the west coast of the United States. And, um, you know, they don't grow here naturally. Uh, I have some clips, actually, from, from back in 2015 that I'll show next. I just found on my computer, coincidentally, in, uh, of me in, in a redwood grove in, um, where it's like Monterey Bay. Uh, I'll, I'll put the name of the specific place on the clips. I don't remember what it was. But, uh, it's, it's like near Santa Cruz. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I got some cool clips of how just absolutely giant these trees get. They are, like I said, they're the biggest trees in the world, so, you know, that's, <laughs> that's no joke. If you think about just your average tree is already a big thing, but these trees are, wow, hundreds of times bigger, just absolutely ginormous, and they can live for, like, up to 3,000 years, I think they say, and they, uh, they're great at surviving forest fires and just an amazing tree, and I think they're really quite beautiful as well, so be really interesting to see if I can grow them here and then how big and how fast they'll grow in, uh, in my kind of climate which 
it shouldn't be too bad. It's pretty mild here. Um, you know, it doesn't get too cold in the winter and it doesn't get too hot in the summer. At the moment we're going for a bit of a heat wave actually, but yeah, it really doesn't stay hot for long here. Um, but yeah, so fairly mild. I don't think it should be an issue for them. Uh, when they're young, I'll keep them inside and then we'll see. Maybe have to plant them outside. But anyway, I'll uh, show those clips and let me know what you think. Thanks. Yeah, I have a friend.